Welcome back! We've made it to this weird mansion where we just saw a ghostly apparition of a young Max and his father apparently shortly after the cutscene we saw earlier. Let's see what else we can find. Alright. This um, house is looking weird. Open the fridge, apparently. Yuck. The food in here is all rotten. Alright. Stephen, stop that. It's not done yet. No, come on. I'm starving. When will it be ready? Oh, the same time as it is every other day. Six o'clock and you know it. Now shoot. Alright, I'll be in my study until 6 o'clock. <gasps> okay, I guess those are Max's parents. Which also makes them Sarah's parents, I guess. Something's burnt up in the bottom. I don't even want to know what it is. Can we take it? No, we can just close the oven again. All right. Probably don't want it anyway. Nothing else to look at here, I think. This is a weird house. Can we go down? No. We cannot. Come on. Work with me here, controls. I don't think I can go there. The bathroom, I think. Probably one of the most horrible bathrooms I've ever seen. I'm okay. <laughs> okay, I was hoping we could close it again. <laughs> I guess not. We can just flush it now. I don't think I can go there. Oh, that's on the other side. Okay. I guess it looks like a washing machine or dryer. Bath is full of something. Can't look at it, though. Nothing here, though. No more ghosts, either. Useful. What have we got up here? Looks like a little study area or something. Creepy. Making me nauseous. Yeah, that'd be weird to see in real life. Can't look at the desk. What a wonderful old clock. It's locked. Oh, poo. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to find a way to open the clock. Somebody's grandpa. Uh, possibly yours. I guess this is the family that lived here. Weird, if she's Sarah, wouldn't she recognize them? I guess this is the family that lived here. Strange. A uh, closet, empty by the look of it. That's the dining room, I guess. A dining room. Weird. The paintings move. It's not the weirdest thing we've seen so far. Weird. The paintings move. Maybe it's Harry Potter. Not much we can do here. It's locked. The door is locked. I guess this is the study, and the dad is waiting for dinner, as he said. Remember, we saw a sparkling key in there that we probably need. Here's a videotape. It says, 
home movies. That's impressive. You can read that through the door. Also a videotape. That might also be useful. Oh, he's disappearing. What's up here? The walls are squirming like they're not even real. Yeah, I got a feeling they're not. There's definitely something else going on here. Or some kind of supernatural manifestation or... Oh. I'm gonna be a doctor when I grow up. If you keep doing well in school, I don't see why not. You really think so? Of course, dear. I'm sure you'd be a wonderful doctor. <gasps> I guess that was Max. We know he did become a doctor before apparently being committed. This must be the ugly cousin. Okay, sure. Nothing else here. Did they actually live here? I have a hard time believing their house actually looked like this. I guess we can't go through this door. What with it not, you know, being entirely stable. Weird layout for a house. Not impossible, I guess. Um, there's also an upstairs. I feel like you did half those stairs twice. Um, are the walls bleeding? Oh my god, the walls are bleeding. That's never a good sign. Um, another small bathroom over here. I don't know if I can go in there. I can. <laughs> Alright, I guess for some reason, Sarah really enjoys flushing toilets. It's rocking all by itself. That doesn't even surprise me at this point. My poor baby. This would have kept you warm at the circus. She's pretty. For a ghost. Wait, if that's... If that's, uh, Her mom... And Inferno was supposed to look like Max's wife, wouldn't that be the same person? Interesting. Anything else in here? sure if I want to go here with the walls bleeding, but sure. Very little I can actually look at here. Hey, I can watch a movie. Oh, VCR. Maybe if we can get that videotape from this study, we can watch it here. <gasps> Stephen, why do you do this to yourself? I just miss her, Diane. I miss her a lot. We all do, honey. But torturing yourself watching old video tapes every night isn't the answer. Come to bed. It's getting late. I guess you're right. Oh wait, no, I got that wrong. Inferno was Max's wife, not his mom. <laughs> because his wife, I guess, uh, was Jennifer. And this is Diane, apparently. Just keep going, I guess. See if we get more ghost stories. A brass key. Wonder what it's for. Hmm. Well, we've seen only one thing that's locked so far. That's the clock. Creepy. It's making me nauseous. Somebody's bedroom. Nothing else in there, though. It's kind of easy to miss, but there's stuff going south here, too. These two bedrooms. Oh, I guess this is... I'm clicking on myself. Oh, poo. It's locked. 
Oops. That would be very, very bad. All right, I guess we can't open this one because for some reason it would be very, very bad. An old dollhouse. It's rocking all by itself. This just makes me think of, uh, you know, Space Quest 4, where Gary Owen's like, you can't actually see those, you just think you can. I'm guessing this might have been Sarah's bedroom, and this possibly Max's. That train is booking. The trains are moving, but they aren't plugged in. Where am I? Oh. I'm over there? I guess I was stuck. Alright, that one opens. A radio. I wonder if I can get any music. Good question. Mercy Corporation stocks continue to rise as the Hope Drug treatment is being used worldwide. Wait, Mercy? Isn't that where Max got a job? In the cutscene where we found out he was a doctor? Mercy only the one thing again. This doll only has one eye, but four arms. I'm sorry, Sarah. I couldn't find it. I looked and looked. It's a ghost boy. I feel like I know him. That's because he's your brother. Whee! <laughs> I guess this doll is the same thing as it's on this poster here. Four Fists of Fury. Actually, I think he was reading a comic of that in uh, the cutscene as well. Interesting. The trains are moving, but they aren't plugged in. That seems to be all here. And there's a hallway leading up here. Oh, poo. It's locked. With an airlock door. A brass key. That didn't work. Alright. I'm guessing that key is for the clock, so... Let's try that. Need to go back down the stairs. Now you're definitely just doing the entire stairway twice. Up. The clock is open. Now I can move the hands. Aha! Well, it should be pretty easy to figure out uh, what we need to do here. We need to make it 6 o'clock so the ghost will leave the study. Alright, well that was all I needed to do, I guess. A big ghost. The collisions here don't really make sense. Anyway, he opened the door, so now we can go in and get that other key, which presumably opens either Sarah's bedroom or the, the other key. door. It's all shiny. And a videotape. Let's go watch that. For which we will need the VCR up here, of course. As I already guessed. Here's Wait, what? Here's the videotape. 
It says home movies. Wonder what it's going to be? What? I'll turn this thing off if you give me a big hug. Well, okay. As long as you don't tell Max where this is. <laughs> okay, okay. Now where's that big hug? <laughs> Love you, Daddy. Love you too, Pumpkin. Hmm. Interesting. That was showing something in the attic, I guess? At least this VCR didn't blow up after we used it. We can watch the tape again, I guess, if we wanted to, but I don't, so. Um, let's see. This door was locked. So let's see if the, the silver key works. A it did. Going up further, maybe this is going to the attic. Looks like it. What a mess! Yeah, I've seen tidier attics. I can't get past that old pile of junk. This is, I guess, the staircase that the dad was coming up when he was filming, and. Sarah was doing something with the bear that she said was her secret hiding place. Hey, that's where the key is hidden. Ooh, this key is gold. Is that the key to her room? Would make sense, I guess. There's more stuff over here. I bet there are all kinds of games and toys in there. Including the trunk. No way. But we cannot get there because of all this junk in the way. I can't get past that old pile of junk. I can't. Wow, doesn't that look fun? A trampoline. Hmm. I think I see what's going to happen here. Apparently, it's just that easy. It's locked. Oh, poo. Oh, poo indeed. It's the only thing here we can look at. Let's try our gold Ooh. key. Mr. Clown. It's the doll that Max was looking for. That he couldn't find. I guess the reason he couldn't find it is because it was up here. Sarah had hidden it and apparently forgot. We can't just climb back over, apparently. Guess it's only that side that's high. I guess we're gonna give the uh, doll to Ghost Sarah, even though we are currently Sarah, which is kind of weird, but sure. Can we just open this now? Sorry about that. Come on in. Hurry up. What are you waiting for? It's rocking all by itself. Now at least it makes sense that I can see this. It looks like a toy chest. The one where we could not find the doll, I guess. An old dollhouse. This is too creepy. Yeah, it's a ghost you. 
I guess we should give her the doll? What a neat dolly. I'll call him Mr. Clown. You found it after all these years. I'm sorry it took so long. I'm so sorry. Don't be sad, Max. I thought... I thought I let you down when you needed me most. No, don't think that. You could never let me down. You are my hero. <laughs> hero? You're trying to save all those kids. I know you can do it. I love you. I, I love you too. The laboratory. Don't worry. I'll watch over him. Goodbye, Sarah. It's time for me to face the future. Rest well. Okay. Well, that was certainly interesting. It seems part of the issues that Max is having have to do with the death of his mm. sister. And I'm more and more convinced that these interludes are not real. Ah, quiet time. There's something interesting that um, that Sarah said, though, is we're trying to save all those children. Which is... Uh, interesting, because that's what we were doing in the town. We are saving all the children from the monster. I'm not sure if that's what she's referring to. Looks like we're back in the asylum, but another part that we haven't seen yet. And a circus poster, of course. Please, I've had enough of the circus. Yeah, me too. Just a child. Could it have died here? Is that supposed to be Sarah, or... Just some inmate? I'm not sure. Just a child. Kind of looks like Mr. Clown doll, although it's kind of hard to tell. Could be any doll, really. Weird, though. Why is there a child here? And why is it dead? I mean, my opinion of this particular asylum hasn't been very high. So, not that surprised. I wonder if saving the children has something to do with him being a doctor. Oh, it's raining. Interesting, when you go inside, it just stops raining completely. Not just inside. Everywhere. Although you can still see the drops falling on the roof and the floor, I guess. I guess it was too hard to just remove the effect only for the cutout area. And there are gargoyle. More gargoyles. I feel like they're always watching me. Where are we now? Where is this place? This is the weirdest asylum I've ever seen. This structure is set apart from the rest of the asylum. Huh, I wonder. Looks like there's a gate. This gate is shut tight. What could be so important inside? Good question. Also, there looks to be blood on the floor there. This gate is shut tight. So I kind of want to check that out. Looks like there's even blood coming from the windows. What's going on here? This structure is set... Can't go in there, though. What's down this way? More gargoyles. I feel like they're always watching me. Whoever built this place loves ominous stone figures. That is definitely true. And was I imagining things, or was it crying blood? Before... I am actually not sure. This game's getting to me. Hmm. Looks like an office. Stern-looking fellow. Where do I know him from? Dr. Morgan, maybe, or...?
Impressive, isn't it? Yes. The artist really captured his strength in this pose. I'd introduce you to him, but he's, um, visiting my mother. She's been feeling run down lately, so my father thought it best that she get some rest at the clinic. I guess we should be going. We don't, uh... Jacob! I wasn't expecting you. I assumed with finals coming up next week that you'd be spending your time in the library. Instead, I find you here, wasting valuable time. I've more than prepared for the finals, Father. You needn't be concerned. I'll do just fine. You'll do just fine? Fine. Is that your goal? I thought I taught you better than that. Anyone can do fine. I don't want you to be just like every other student at medical school turns out. Remain focused on what is important, Jacob. Yes, Father. Feel dizzy. Oh, okay. Something behind it, I guess. Weird. That's the father of the person that uh, hired Max at Mercy, I guess? Not sure. Also, he sounded an awful lot like Dr. Morgan. But if he's supposed to be at Mercy, then why would he be working at the asylum here? Unless they're related somehow. Huh. A pipe valve. Strange thing to hide behind a painting. Pipe valve. A pipe valve? Now we legitimately just are playing Resident Evil, aren't we? Uh, can't look at the desk, strangely enough. A radio. Wonder if I can get any news from the outside world. Well, it's worked before. mourns as children who successfully responded to the hope drug begin to die. Okay. That's the drug that Mercy produced. I guess it's not working anymore, whatever it was trying to do. I wonder if all these radio messages are related, so maybe this hope drug is for that DNA V thing that we saw in the beginning. Or that the first radio message meant, uh, mentioned, I meant. Um, anyway. Looks like that's all we can do here. Let's check up here. What is this place? What a strange device. I wonder what it controls. What a strange device. What a strange device. Alright, that's apparently the only thing we can do. Or look at it anyway. Doesn't seem to be working. I must need power first. Alright. What a strange device. I wonder what it controls. What a strange Alright. Uh, this whole thing just gives the same message, I guess. There's a hexagonal hole at this pipe junction. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Um, that's helpful. Pipe. Wait, did it need power or water? It's kind of vague. See if that accomplished anything. It does appear to be working now. It seems that the rotating electromagnet is linked to the stone weight, but what is the machine's purpose? Hmm. Interesting. I guess we need to do something with this, and it's linked to that weight. But we'll have to figure that out in the next video.